take an unprecedented look at the Commodore 64 and how it was made. That's what's on the menu today, sponsored by PCB Way. From the sand crystals, chunks of silica and rods are formed, and it's these rods that the circular wafer-thin slices are sawn off. A worker exposes the silicone wafer to a photo mask to burn that chip design, creating a photograph that is about 10 times larger than the area of the chip. Under blue light, 10 times smaller copies are made by computer-controlled machines. After several chemical treatments, the wafers arrive at a sort of electronic acupuncture device, and now the final separation into individual chips takes place. The chip clothing seamstress arranges the connection between the chip and the outside world. The chips and other components are assembled onto the computer's motherboard. The graphics output is trimmed and adjusted to perfection. The machines go into a final assembly, testing and packaging production line, and finally, the long production path is done. Packaged safely in its box, ready for the consumer to open.